I must begin this video with a disclaimer. I did not pay this guy to make a video so that I can make a reply video. I didn't go down to the comedian store and for 40 bucks buy 15 minutes of this person's time. With that said, let us begin. Okay, I have enough of this uh, global warming. What? You're like leaving? Like Woody Allen, you're just going to take the next rocket ship out of here? I'm very sorry, but participation in global warming, that's kind of mandatory. Um, the only people not participating are dead. So you're stuck with it. Either you participate in global warming or you leave the planet. This is really easy to understand. There's two terms. One's called the Gulf Stream. The other's called the North Atlantic Convection Current. I must say I am very impressed. You have managed to remember two of the names of the seven major ocean currents here on planet Earth. Um, I don't drink, typically, let alone so that I look like you. But I don't think I could remember even one name in that condition, let alone two, has absolutely nothing at all to do with human-caused climate change, i.e. global warming, but let's see where this goes. It's the same thing. Just the Gulf Stream is the top of the ocean. Top of the ocean. Top. On a planet hanging in the vacuum of space. There's a top. Why can global warming never happen? For people who, who are not familiar with alcohol mumbled words, um, my translation is, why can global warming never happen? Let's find out. It can't ever happen. I'm sorry, you just can't. It's, not, it's stupid. That's right. All that missing ice, a hell of a lot of missing ice, it was stupid, so it left. They threaten us with, well, the, 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 the polar caps are going to melt and everything's going to flood. That's impossible. That's right, by golly. It's impossible, even though it's observed happening. It is observed having happened, past tense. But by golly, it's impossible. Let's take a look at the polar ice caps. Here we see Arctic sea ice loss since year 1979. This is given in thousands of cubic meters. We have just been told that this is impossible. And here I show the same data only as a percentage of ice lost since year 1979. Therefore the trend line is the same. This is a observed fact. It has happened and all of the world's climatologists agree on why. This graph shows a loss of ice at Antarctic ever since year 2000 using the new satellites that measure gravity changes over Antarctic. A hell of a lot of ice is missing. Oddly enough, sea ice extents has increased at Antarctic because all of that fresh water has been flowing into the ocean making ice easier to form. This graph shows anomalous ice loss on Greenland for the same time period. The anomalous melting of sea ice at Arctic did not raise global sea levels because that ice was not on land. Unfortunately, the ice at Greenland and Antarctic was on land and when it melted anomalously, it flowed into the ocean, raising global sea levels. So, we observe it happening, but it's impossible. Sources down here in this video's description box. <clears throat> ice forms at the poles. And when ice forms, the salt doesn't form with it. That makes the water, the ocean water at the poles, far more salty than at the Mid Atlantic. You know what? Oceans are also getting less salty. 
Antarctic and around Greenland. You know why? All that fresh water ice is melting and going into the oceans. Something you said is impossible. And it's observed happening, but it's impossible. Just saying. And that's what creates the Gulf Stream. The heavier, saltier water, being heavier, sinks to the bottom of the ocean and finds its way back to the equator. Yes, cooler, denser water falls. Warmer, less denser water rises, replacing where that cooler, denser water was. We get, therefore, convection cells in the oceans. We have seven major ones. Uh, maybe three dozen minor ones here and there. This is exactly what is going on anomalously at Antarctic, contributing to the anomalous melting of land ice at Antarctic. Something you said is impossible, but is observed happening. Which creates a vacuum and draws warm, less salty water a vacuum. It creates a vacuum in the ocean. So you can never have the polar caps melt. And yet they are observed melting. How do you explain that? Conspiracy? That's just absolute <laughs> craziness. Dude, you said it. I didn't. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.